Mituweni is a small district in the north of Pemba, one of the islands of Zanzibar. The population of Mituweni numbers around 88,000, 74% of which are living below the poverty line, while 33% live below the food poverty line, making it the poorest district in Zanzibar. In January 2008, through the Delivering as One approach, the United Nations Joint Program 5, Capacity Building Support to Zanzibar, or JP5, was developed to support government institutions towards the achievement of Zanzibar's Millennium Development Goals. The program was aligned to the national priorities outlined in MACUSA, the Zanzibar Strategy for Growth and Reduction of Poverty, and was implemented under the leadership of the Revolutionary Government of Zanzibar. The Joint Programme 5 provided an opportunity for the local communities, the UN and the government to work in a harmonised manner towards the sustainable development of Zanzibar. The Serikali of Mapinduzi Zanzibar has been working with the government and the government. Now, the government has been working with the government and the government has been working with the government and the government has been working with the government. The government has been working with the government and the government has been working with the government and the government has been working E, taasizo chini moja mataifa pamoja na wananchi wenyewe wa micheweni kukaa na kupanga e, malengo ya namna gani ya kuweza kuwasaidia katika kupunguza umaskini. Mpango huu ulijikita zaidi katika kuwapatia wananchi wa micheweni huduma za jamii na pia kuendesha shughuli za ndogo ndogo za kiuchumi ambazo kwamba zitaongezea zitaongezea kipato. Kwa kiasi kubwa nasema kwamba mpango huu ulifanikiwa na malengo yaliyotarajiwa yalifikiwa kwa kiwango kikubwa. In Michuweni, the UN Joint Programme 5 activities were downstream interventions aimed at improving the coverage of social services regarding health, education, water and sanitation in selected areas. United Nations volunteers, in line with their mission to promote volunteerism for peace and development, and under the support of the German government, focused on provision of technical support to JP5. By being part of the local communities they serve, the United Nations volunteers have the ability to empower these communities, thus making a difference right where it is needed. More than 50% of the population of Michuweni is engaged in agriculture as their main economic activity. The Seninga Rice Irrigation Scheme covers an area of 16 hectares, where 160 farmers, 60% of who are female, grow rice. The UNJP5 funded the construction of a borehole and irrigation channels and the provision of a water pump. The UNVs assisted the farmers to register their group as a cooperative society to consolidate the gains of the project. <laughs> wala wa aina yote mbegu ilikuwa ni mtu anachukua mbegu anaotaka tu ya uzoefu wa kizamani na kisasa niko kwa kuna mbegu zetu za kisasa za rekesheni inakuwa ni bora ile mapato zaidi kuliko nyingine UNV kwa kweli kama UNV tumekuwa ni sisi washauri wa kitaalamu pamoja na e, ushawishi kwa jamii e, kama tukirudi nyuma kidogo tunaweza kuona kwamba wakati wa ujenzi wa mradi huu hususan katika mitaro ulikuwa ni mawazo tofauti miongoni mwa watendaji na wale watendewa. Kwa hiyo ilikuwa ni kazi yetu kuwashawishi au na kuwahamasisha wakulima waweze kushiriki kamilifu kwa sababu ni mradi wao. Kutokana na mradi huu ambao pengine umeongezewa nguvu za maji, kwa hiyo faida moja kwa moja inayopatikana kwa jamii au kwa wananchi wanaotumia mabonde au wanaolima hapa ni kupatikana kwa uvunaji wa mazao mara mbili kwa mwaka. Kwa sababu kuweza kutilia maji unaweza kuzalisha mara mbili kinyume na uzalishaji wa utegemeaji wa mvua ambao ni mara moja kwa mwaka. Many factors such as limited access had led to low service utilization of health facilities in Michuweni. In the village of Maziwa Ngombe and through the support of the UNJP5, a twin house was constructed next to an existing healthcare unit to house two full-time nurses. This ensures that the health center is staffed around the clock. Katika kituo hichi zamani tulikuwa tufanye huduma za uzazi pamoja na kuhudumikia wakina mama walioharibu mimba. Lakini kwa sasa GP5 imetusaidia sana, imetupatia nyumba pamoja na vifaa vyote vya kuzalishia na vya kuchemshia. 
Kwa hivyo tunashukuru sana kwa kutujengi pia wametujengia nyumba ambayo tunaishi hapa hapa huduma zinapatikana wakati wote. Sisi hapo mwanzo kabla ya kujengewa nyumba hii ilikuwa tunapata usumbufu mkubwa sana. Mimi binafsi nishawahi kutoka hapa kuna na safari zangu nikifika njiani nikakuta mwanamke tayari anataka kujifungua. Ikabidi sasa nikatishe safari zangu kwa kunishughulikia bibi yule. Na alhamdulillah akajifungua salama lakini ilikuwa huo ndio usumbufu. Lakini baada ya kujengewa nyumba hii Tuashukuru sana usumbufu huo ulituondokea kiasi fulani. Sisi kama UNV tunachofanya ni kushajihisha jamii kina mama waweze kuja hapa. Kwa kushirikiana na, na wafanyakazi wa afya tunashirikiana nao kuhamasisha kina mama waje hapa kujifungua na kupima kabla ya kujifungua na baada ya kujifungua. Ili wajue hali zao za afya, maendeleo ya watoto, maendeleo za ujauzito na, na vitu kama hivyo pia tunasaidia uh, kujaribu kuhamasisha ushiriki wa kina baba katika mambo ya afya ya mama na, na mtoto Bichuani had the highest basic need poverty which stood at a rate of more than 74%. JP5 interventions were aimed at improving the livelihoods of vulnerable groups in a sustainable manner through the promotion of income generating activities 35 of the most vulnerable households in the district of which 40% are female headed were identified by the UNVs with the help of the local community the families were provided with faster growing hybrid dairy goats in an effort to boost their income the households were trained on goat husbandry through farmers field schools and the determination of the goat keepers has paid off as some have managed to double their herds the UNV's organized training for the farmers on goat keeping and regularly checked up on the beneficiaries monitoring their progress. UNV wamechangia katika kuhakikisha kwanza ile taaluma ambayo ilitolewa kwa vikundi mbalimbali vya ufugaji wa mbuzi wa maziwa iingie katika maeneo haya ambayo mradi huu umeelekezwa. Kwa hiyo imekuwa ni rahisi sisi kuwasiliana na wataalamu wa mifugo pamoja na kuweza kutoa taarifa haraka haraka wa urahisi kwa sababu tunaweza kusafiri kwa haraka kufuatilia e, wataalamu wa mifugo kuja kuhudumia maeneo haya ya mbuzi wa maziwa katika maeneo ya micheweni. Mradi unileta mbuzi mmoja. Nilianza alikuwa mbuzi wa nne. Na sasa hivi mbuzi wale hapo hawapungui 24. Mabadiliko yapo. Kwa sababu nilipokuwa nikifuga mbuzi wa nyumbani wadogo wadogo nilikuwa nauza mbuzi mmoja kama shilingi hamsini. Ilikuwa kipato ni kidogo. Lakini sasa ninapopata mbuzi wa kubwa mbuzi mmoja naanza kuzia laki moja, salasini, laki moja, ishirini. Kweli hivyo mabadiliko makubwa kwa upande wangu. Pesa ninazitumia kwa matumizi ya kupeleka watoto wangu shule. Halafu na kupata mimi chakula zingine nikalimia kwenye mashamba yangu. Mpenzi msikilizaji utakumbuka matukio mbalimbali yanayotokea huko duniani kupitia anga za kimataifa kuna habari kutoka Yemen na huko Libya mambo ni moto wakati rais JP5 set up a community radio station to address crucial social issues at a community level empower marginalized rural groups and catalyze democratic processes and development efforts the community radio operates for more than 12 hours daily, starting from 6 a.m. and covers an area 30 kilometers outside the Michuani district. Program yangu kuna njia mbili. Kuna kufanywa kipindi kwa wananchi wenyewe vijijini, lakini pia kuna njia nyingine ya kuja mtaalamu hapa kaelezea elimu akatoa elimu juu ya kilimo wananchi wenyewe wakapiga simu kuulizia masuala juu ya kilimo au kupata utaalamu kama mambo ya mifugo, kama mambo ya wadudu wa haribifu, mbegu bora na hivyo wananufaika kwa njia hiyo. Kutokana na elimu inayotolewa kituoni hapa, faida kubwa iliyopatikana, wananchi walikuwa kizalia majumbani, sasa wanazalia hospitali, wakulima na wafugaji walikuwa kitumia njia zile za zamani ambazo hazina tija, sasa wanafuata njia za kitaalamu, uvuvi unaotumika hivi sasa na ukulima wa mwani umeleta mabadiliko makubwa baada ya kutolewa elimu hapa kituoni. Response to the community radio has been very rewarding and positive. 
mimi nafaidika sana kwanza kupata elimu alafu nafaidika kwamba iko ndani ya eneo letu halafu nafaidika kwamba sasa jamii inapata mwamko tofauti kutokana na hili ndio jamii unaofanana na wakati wa sasa radio jamii kwa kweli tunafaidika kiasi fulani kwa sababu ya kusikia matangazo mbalimbali kwa sababu kama kipindi cha kilimo na watu wa kilimo afisa kilimo hutoa matangazo kwamba wakati huu ni wa kulima wakati huu ni wa kusia na mbegu gani watu wapande ili wapate mazao mazuri na karibuni tu hivi kuingia matatizo yani maradhi ya wanyama kama mbuzi kuku kwa hiyo akawatoa elimu ya ya tiba kupitia radio jamii kwa watu walifaidika sana tu wa wazidi kutuzidia mambo waje wakitupo kwa radio jamii na sisi tunufaikiwa mu vijijini kama hizo radio wende wakizinga waje wakitupa nasi wale mabosi waje wakitupa nasi yetu nemeke mu vijijini muzidi kuwapa sana huyo babangu kwa siki amba fahamu wazidi kwenda chuma huko waje nayo mambo hapa wape mabosi wanemeke na sisi watu wa vijijini tunemeke kwa sababu hizi radio ni haba wazidi kutuongeza maana tuzidi kusikiliza vizuri Mitchell 60% of the population is illiterate and 41% of the rural population has never attended school. The reasons for this include lack of access to school facilities, parents' attitudes towards education and their financial situation. JP5 ilipokuja walijenga jengo hili ambalo lipo mbele yetu lina vyumba viwili vya kusomea, lina ukumbi mmoja, lina vyo viwili ambavyo kimoja kinatumika kwa wana ume na kimoja kinatumika kwa wanawake. Kuna choo ambacho kimewekwa kwa ajili ya walimu lakini kama vile haitoshi kutokana na idadi kubwa ya wanafunzi vikajengwa vyo vya ziada nje ambavyo sasa hivi vina vyumba vinne alafu tumejengewa tangi la maji ambalo na ujazo wa lita 1000 tuna vitu vya kuchezea wanafunzi kwa mfano mapembea ambayo yapo nje pale kama tunavyoona na vitu vingine ni uzio ambao umejengewa ili jengo ambalo kwa kweli limepata hifadhi nzuri Sio na faida ya kuwa watoto wanasoma vizuri, wana huduma nzuri, wanachanganyika vizuri, wanacheza vizuri. Haona woga mbona. Anajua kuhisabu, anajua uhisabu. Karibuni analingana karibuni mpaka hamsini. Anazidisha sasa siku nyingine kwa sababu kina akili. Tulichochangia ni kwenda vijijini kuhamasisha wanajamii kuhamasisha kina baba na kina mama waweze kuandikisha watoto pamoja na kuchangia uji. Wameona hii thamani ya uji. Najua kabla ya uji attendance ilikuwa inashuka lakini uji umepandisha pia ile attendance. Na kwa vile imesaidia hata katika attendance wameona umuhimu wake na wanaendelea kuchangia na tun, ni matarajio kwamba itende. Currently the school has 127 students, 74 of which are girls. The children are provided with ideal conditions for receiving education and educational support. The teaching patterns and the learning quality have been greatly improved and many children in the region have had and will have an opportunity of a great early education that will lead them to a better future. The distinctive contribution the UN volunteers brought to JP5 provide tangible evidence of how development efforts can be facilitated by working alongside the communities. The Michiwani interventions, being the result of a combined effort of the local communities, the UN and the revolutionary government of Zanzibar, have had an important impact on the lives of the people of the small district and have laid the foundation for the sustainable development of the island as a whole. <laughs>